Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this 365 brand uh, bean and rice burrito, which sounds interesting. I wish I had some meat, but bean and rice is okay. Um, I'm thinking 365 is the Whole Foods brand. So, um, let's see, nutritional information is, it's hard to read on these plastic packages, but 320 calories for the whole thing. And there's the other specs for you. No cholesterol, that's good. Um, sodium's not horrible. Everything's pretty decent there. So cooking directions. Let's see, cook it in the oven if you want. Or microwave. So we're gonna remove the wrap wrap in a paper towel. Really hard to read. Uh, wrap burrito in a paper towel, cook on high one and a half minutes. Turn over and cook for an additional minute until it's hot. Let cool for one minute before enjoying. So, I'm not going to open it. That's what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like. So, I'm going to get this uh, wrapped up in a paper towel. Pretty good sized burrito. I mean, you can see how big that is. Um, I'm gonna get this wrapped in a paper towel and put it in the microwave and I'll be back. Here it is out of the microwave and I cut it open just so I can show you what it looks like inside. And there it is. So it has plenty of rice and uh, looks like pinto type beans instead of light beans, which I like. Um, I really don't, light beans are sometimes too strong. Um, I'd rather have the pinto type brown beans than, than black beans any day. So anyway, this is it. I'm gonna cut this up into smaller pieces just so I can cool off a little faster and uh, I'll be back. All right, it's that time to cool off. So here's the bite I'm going to try. Plenty of everything in it. You really taste the rice. And, um, and the beans have a good flavor too. Um, it has a, you know, the typical Mexican burrito flavor. Um, the strongest flavor is honestly probably the beans. It's good. It's a little bland. I wish it had a little bit more spice to it because um, it is pretty, pretty plain. Um, I don't know. Would I recommend this one? Probably not. It's not. It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor at all. Um, I'm gonna recommend you skip this one. I'm gonna give it a two just because it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's pretty bland, but if you're looking for, I mean, it's bean and rice, what do you expect? It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but they could have added some seasoning to it. Um, maybe some peppers or some onions or something to it uh, to add to that flavor. Um, as it stands right now, pretty bland. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time.